Hey guys, Peter over here. Today is Sunday and what do I do on Sunday? Can you guys hear that little guy? Yeah. Hi baby. Hi. Are you glad to see me baby? So of course I'm here on Sunday to feed these two little guys. Honey and Ruby. But I'm also here. I'm also here because one of the items that I like to sell a lot just sold it's pretty expensive and i want to show you actually guys how to pack it because it could be extremely profitable but most people are scared to ship this particular item because it's so delicate uh, let me show you what i have in mind so this is the hormon carden uh, turntable that just sold uh, we had it here in the shop for $600. We originally had that same price on eBay and then we dropped it to I believe $550 and somebody came in and an offer and gave us an offer of like $480 and it sold. So it's time for me to get this thing out and pack it and it's extremely risky and difficult if you don't know how to do this. So I think this is going to be a good video for some people if you want to dabble in turntables. All right, guys, here are three major components that you're going to need, or four actually. Big oversized box, a lot bigger than the actual unit. Lots of peanuts, which I got up there, the whole bag, probably one third of that bag is going to go into this box. Styrofoam, loose styrofoam, sheets of styrofoam. These I got just the other day from dumpster diving uh, that I did the video the other day. So they're going to come in very handy. Lots of bubble wrap. And also this. You need this. This is uh, like a cellophane wrap that you could use, you know. Guys wrap uh, pallets when they have merchandise sitting on pallets so they don't come loose. I'm going to need that for this. And I'll show you why in a minute. All right. First of all. I will not even attempt shipping turntables if they don't have a dust cover, if they don't have a lid. That lid is a major component protecting the arm and the needle, the hat itself. But before you do anything, this is actually a pretty sophisticated unit because it's a floater. And what I mean by floater, are you going to help, honey? No, no, I need this. You can't play with this. I need that. No. What I mean by floater, when you open this up and you actually touch the platter, see how it's floating? He, see how the handle is moving around? That's a floater. It even has a weight distribution on top here that you cap the records with. This comes off, you put your record on, you put this on top. This alone is about a pound, pound and a half, maybe even two pounds. Let's see. No, about a pound. And then, this is a belt-driven turntable. So you remove the blade uh, belt right here. You can see the belt right there. I just removed it from that uh, pulley here, which is the main motor. And then you have to remove the platter. Because what's going to happen, most turntables won't have this piece. If you leave this, this, this becomes like a missile. And it starts going around and destroying everything. But what's the big missile inside the turntable is this platter. And if you leave it on, and if you don't remove it, it's going to destroy everything that it's in here after it's closed like that. And if it's not protected. So you need to pop this up. You, you lift it. Most of them have a self-locking mechanism. You lift it up, you twist a little bit, and then it's going to pop at one point. There it goes. It's going to pop. And you pack this separately so it doesn't do any damage and now now nothing is loose inside this compartment and you can easily ship but two more things this is the floater most of them are not floaters and this mechanism you won't see in most of the turntables so i have to make sure that this is also secured so it's not bouncing around like so you know um you do have adjusters here, but I'm not going to play with those adjusters. I'm going to actually insert protectors in between the cushion and the metal here. So it keeps it in place nice and tight. Also, one more thing. 
This arm does have a lock on it, so it doesn't get loose by itself. See, it locks like that, but sometimes they'll pop up. So I'm gonna use tie down to actually secure it. So in any way, during the shipment, it will, will not come loose. Um, this actually, I could take it off. There's a little screw, you untie it, you can remove the whole cartridge head and pack it separately. I'm actually gonna leave that on since I don't have anything inside. Actually, this is pretty safe to be here by itself. Plus, it has a, a protective cage sitting on top of the actual needle. I don't want to take it off now, but you can see the needle inside there. So, I definitely leaving that alone, tying it down so it stays in place. And then, after everything is secured inside, I'm gonna wrap it with this. And I'll tell you why in a second. So I cut out little pieces of cardboard with notches in them that I can insert inside the metal plates here on top of the cushions and look how stabilized this is this is not rattling anymore this is all in place I mean you can still move it around a little bit but it's all in place now now next oh and I have uh, my arm already with the tie down on it that way it's nicely secured and it's not coming off this uh, this bridge here and it's not getting loose. Next, I will insert styrofoam inside, but I have to measure the thickness so though. The way I do it, I'll lean this against it. I'll score it all the way across like so. All right, so I have everything secured inside. I also put a piece of styrofoam that it's laying between the arm and the lid itself. And one piece of the styrofoam running like so inside as well. So it's creating pressure between the bottom of the unit and the lid itself. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap everything around with this so it keeps it all together because this lid can easily come off of these hinges here. They're sliders, they go up and down most of turntables are like that so now i need to secure the lid to the turntable itself and this is actually not very easy to do when you are by yourself extra set of hands would help but if you gotta do it you can do it and this is going completely around the unit This is extremely important part what I just did. Securing that lid to the unit. I'm actually gonna run it one more time this way and one more time that way. All right, the next part is wrap it a few times in the bubble wrap so it's a nice protection. And then we're gonna drop it in, in there in, uh, in the peanuts. All right, so I got my uh, turntable bubble wrap twice going each way, couple couple layers. Then I got my um, drum also bubble wrapped and it's sitting on top of the styrofoam from both sides. That's pretty well protected. Now here's extremely important part too, prepping your box. Uh, I'm gonna line it with sheets of styrofoam going all the way around, trimming exactly to fit the size that gives additional protection to strengthen the box itself. It's very important to do that. So if the box gets crushed, um, it, well, it's not gonna get crushed that easy. That's the idea. All right, so now I have a uh, styrofoam cut to, uh, cut to match the dimension of the box. And now we're gonna fill up the box with peanuts to, to make to make everything appear like it's gonna be floating. That's the whole idea. You don't want this to be surrounded solid by styrofoam so it doesn't have that bouncy effect. It needs to float in the box so if it does get dropped, it gets that bouncy effect sitting on top of the peanuts. 
All right, so my item is nicely in there. The platter is sitting on its side, separated. And now we're gonna fill in the rest of it and all the all the spacing in between with more more peanuts. All right, so the box is the box is completely filled in. Now you want this pretty pretty tight. You want excessive amount. You can close it and kind of put a little bit of pressure on it because doing shipping, they will kind of squeeze themselves from the big unit bouncing around there. So you want you want that extra cushion. So let me uh, let me lock this up and uh, put some tape on it and we'll be ready to go. Alrighty friends, this is all packed up, all taped up, all ready to go. Package is super secure. This thing is at 22 pounds. Most of the time these turntables when you pack them like this are going to be between 15 to about 25 pounds depending on a turntable. Sometimes you get a big one that has a nice wooden heavy cabinet and it's going to add another five six pounds to it. But this one was overall pretty light and I don't mind putting a lots of lots of shipping material in there. The couple extra pounds here and there are not going to change anything and this is the way you need to pack it. I shipped hundreds of turntables over the years. I probably ship one every single month. Um, this is the way you have to do it. Otherwise, you're asking for trouble. Now, remember, usually I charge quite a bit for shipping. 30, 40, 50 bucks, depending on a unit. I think this one put, this one in particular was like $30 to ship. That's what we charge. So you can spend a few minutes on this. Yes, it's not a five-minute uh, five thing. It took me probably a good half an hour to pack this prep it to get it ready for shipping but it's worth it and the customer who's gonna get it is gonna be super happy and you're not gonna have any problems also remember when you're shipping something like this put insurance on it just because you did a such a good job it doesn't mean it won't get damaged something still might happen uh, so anything that I ship like this and that it's $500 or higher will still insure it signature confirmation I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumb up. This was a video that I was thinking to make already for many, many years. So this was a perfect unit to show this how it's done. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, please give it a thumb up. If you are first time to my channel, uh, please subscribe because I do this kind of stuff all the time. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Till next time. Cheers.